What's up? What's up, YouTube? So here we are again, Sunday, and we're over here at the gym. It's pouring right now, and as you see, there's not uh, any humans awake right now, so uh, it's time to go in there, and I'm going to be crushing a push day, starting with OHP. Let's get after it. I'm trying to be in and out as quick as I can. Uh, let's go. I'll do some commentary over as well. All right, so we got a push day here, and this is push day two which I will be bringing the full detailed workout for this soon. If you haven't checked out the first one, you should. Starting off with OHP, standing overhead press. And trust me, I know that the weight looks a little light, but I am still trying to get my shoulder to 100% health. It is getting a lot better. This workout went well, no real pain, although I do still feel something. Um, I'm definitely uh, working towards a 100% healthy shoulder, weights coming up on the bench and all that. So. Keep that in mind, this is my last set AMRAP. It was very easy, uh, this weight, but again, that's expected. So I did uh, four sets of nine, I believe, on this day, and this AMRAP was like 11 or 12 reps, something like that, uh, or may have been a five, I believe it was a five by seven, and I did it at around 116 pounds. Uh, once that was done, moved over to some incline press, keeping the form nice and tight. Again, you'll see the mount was very slow, trying to keep that left shoulder uh, as stable as possible. And again, these felt good. They were only 80s, but um, nice and controlled, feel in the chest, big squeeze. It went well. So um, this one, I did three sets, eight to 12 reps, somewhere between there. I'm trying to keep the weight somewhat similar for the first four cycles and really just increasing reps. So when I started, I believe I got like eight reps with... I don't know, like 70s or something, because again, the shoulder was a little iffy, but now I'm up to 80s on the incline for, uh, I think it was about 10 reps. Then I moved to flat. I found that I usually do the same weight on the flat shortly after. My chest is starting to get a little gassed out. My shoulder's a little tired. Uh, again, keeping the form tight, you'll notice the elbows tucked into the side. Uh, this was also three sets. I used to do two. I'm up in the volume. Keeping the weight the same and going for those high reps, that's the key here, higher volume. After this, we did, I did, sorry, one of the sickest things that I've only seen at this new gym that I go to, Fortis West, weighted push-ups, like actual weighted push-up station. And I am doing this in every push day going forward at this gym. This is sick. I got a crazy chest pump, feels good. You know, very good position for the shoulders and just properly being able to add weight to this. Um, so this one was actually supersetted and I'm not sure why I put these clips in reverse, but actually before this weighted push up, I did the uh, cable flies that you're going to see right here. And again, this machine feels really good. Uh, it's a slightly upwards motion, slightly upwards angle to hit that upper chest as much as possible, fatigue it, and then like I said, I superset it with the push-ups that you just saw. And uh, there's a few more exercises that I did after this that I'll cover in a bit, but uh, it was a great push day. Give these ones a shot, and if you can, weighted push-ups, trust me, they are the way to go. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of the vlog. up what i didn't show you was that i did some lateral raises face pulls and uh, tr two tricep exercises push downs and overhead dumbbell extensions and then i finished off with 250 calories of cardio and unfortunately i couldn't shower because i'm an idiot and i forgot my towel i literally forget something almost every time um except for the times where i plan better before the night before so i didn't plan as good as i could have obviously last night so i gotta go home and shower there and then I'm going to take you through the day. Again, no calories and macros through this one. Maybe I have, I think I'm having barbecue later today. But uh, for now, I'm just going to have the usual. I stretched out in there as well, by the way. Um, so I'm going to go home, have the usual, do some work, meal prep, the usual Sunday. You know how it goes already by now. Hopefully, if you haven't, you haven't been subbed to the kid long enough and you better subscribe right now. And then we're going to hit up the pro show. At least that is the plan. So with that said, that's what my power shake typically. So I'm changing up the breakfast today. I got three packets of oatmeal right here, two maple and brown sugar, one apple and cinnamon. Then I've got two pieces of toast, two sunny side up eggs, and a cup and a quarter of egg white. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. 
got some client stuff done, some ad stuff done. Drinking a liter of lemon water here. And I've got the meal prep going, so here's some of the turkey already. Veggies, rice cooking up. Of course, we got the sweet potato and the chicken. Whoop, there we go. So, just gonna finish this up, show you what's going on. Also, um, I did snack on a couple of cliff bars, two cliff bars, and some of these cashews right here. I weighed them out, 60 grams of cashews two cliff bars so i'm not giving myself too much room but uh still got well over a thousand calories left over for the day and i'm gonna be walking around all day again assuming that i'm still going to the pro show and so yeah check in with you when the meal prep's done is done got all these meals set up two cups of rice with eight ounces of chicken or 220 grams of uh lean ground turkey and 250 grams of sweet potato one cup of rice this is what you're seeing all the time, gets prepped on Sunday. I also have still enough for three meals a day, so two more days in there. Gotta toss this all in here. And uh, real quick, I'm gonna film a short video that you might see before this one. If not, it's coming up soon. Gonna be called How to Build Your Own Fat Loss Meal Plan. So I'm gonna shoot that real quick and then I gotta take off because I'm already late, as always, to go downtown to the Toronto Pro. So I'll probably see you on the way there or there in the next clip. Yeah, the six, baby. We coming. I see the CN Tower. Y'all can see it from here. Watch under this bridge, man. Someday soon, I'm gonna be living in this city. Anyways, as you can see, I'm a little late. It's just after 12. I should have been there by now, but uh, I got real badly caught up. Hopefully, traffic's as smooth as this for the rest of it, but <clears throat> see you guys soon. In the parking spot. <clears throat> Battery's dying, though. So, see how much clips I can get in my parking. Okay, nice and clean, so scroll. Straighten your legs. Straddle pledge. Point your toes. Hold that, yeah. And he looks so at the judges. So you can tell that they're like, gotcha, man. show got me some goodies from mammoth and uh really just went around the show and only was there for about two hours wasn't uh wasn't anything special it did seem to have been a little bit uh less was a little bit less active as last year it seems it seems like it's dying down from uh, a lot of people i saw there that i knew so uh, it is what it is it was still a good time seeing my boy and um you know, we got uh, some samples, talked to some people, you know, um, and it was overall good. You know, see a lot of fitness people in one spot. Always a good time. Uh, with that said, you know, I, I've always wanted to reach out and go to the Ohio Arnold Classic show. So might look into doing that next year. But with that said, uh, I didn't actually eat too many samples. I forgot to show you guys just because I was walking around and I forgot to pull the phone up. But I did have some small samples here and there. I would guess maybe it totaled uh, 200 calories. And I had a uh, uh, street meat, some uh, hot dogs, so some street meat and with some ketchup on it, not a big deal. And then I'm gonna go home and have dinner with the fam, a little bit of a movie night, something like that. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Oh, one thing, I did lose my sunglasses, which kind of sucks, but you know what? I got those sunglasses for like 60 bucks, like six years ago. So I guess it's time for a new pair. It is what it is. Anyways, catch you guys at home. Got some veggies, some shrimps, veggie burger, a little bit of ketchup and a bun. That's it. All right, looks like it's time to play. That's it guys. Um, pretty much just finished off having some biscotti and 
I had some veggies and whatnot. You saw the meal. So with that said, again, didn't really track so much today. As you can tell, I'm a lot more lenient with tracking as, uh, by the way, check out the setup, fully extended lazy boy. Um, I got my iPad here. I like to just play video games. This is more to pass the time where I'm relaxing. My legs are still demolished. Winding down for the day and really just for the week because after this, it's full force again into the next week and I'm always super excited about this. But I have my iPad and I like to watch a lot of educational Sam Ovens type videos, especially those are my favorite. Um, and just learn, you know, different videos on YouTube, but mostly ones about business and education and fitness and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do to finish off the day. Um, that's pretty much the day. But as I was going to say, I'm a lot more lenient with tracking just because um, I have so much more wiggle room when you've got more calories and when you're not so afraid to put on weight, right? If I put on weight, I'm not moving back as if I, as if I was cutting, right? When I'm cutting and I start gaining weight, that's a bad thing. I'm intentionally trying to gain. So if I go over here and there, it's not a big deal. With that said, I will be cracking down on my diet way harder this coming week, and I'm very excited about it. I'm going to three meals a day for prepped meals, and everything's gonna be so on point. I'm gonna try to go 100% nutrient-dense foods for a few days at least, see how my body composition looks and how my performance reacts. Obviously, it should react quite well, as my volume is really starting to get up higher uh, as we're about to enter week four of the cycle. So I'm gonna dial in the nutrition and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna also drink this water to finish off the day. I didn't have uh, as much water as I usually do because obviously I was out and about. But with that said, guys, that's it for the vlog. Very straightforward, very simple, full push workout for y'all. So hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thanks for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe. I gotta go. Merc, some motherfuckers on this station. All right, so let's get it. See you guys in the next one. Thanks again. I'm out.